بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقه قولي صدق الله العلي العظيم In the name of God the beneficent and the merciful hello dear respected viewers and welcome to this special episode this special TV show which is about Imam Hassan Al Askari peace and blessings be upon him from Samarra next to the holy shrine of Imam Hassan Al Askari peace and blessings be upon him and his blessed father Imam Ali Al Hadi alayhi salam we are here to show our respect towards these two infallible imams we are approaching the anniversary of the martyrdom of imam hassan al askari this great imam the 11th imam of shia the 13th infallible son of imam ali al hadi and father of imam of our time imam mahdi may almighty god hasten his reappearance my dear brothers and sisters here in samarra the atmosphere is so sorrowful especially in these days because of the martyrdom of this great imam Imam Hassan al Askari was so oppressed by the Abbasid kings, by those who couldn't stand Imam Hassan al Askari, and they couldn't stand any pure person because of their tyrant rule, because of their terrible way of ruling the people. They couldn't stand, they couldn't see how respectful Imam Hassan al Askari peace and blessings be upon him is among people and among Shia Muslims so that's why they kept Imam Hassan al Askari in a special place in a very controlled place in a military building among all those armies that's why we call Imam Hassan al Askari Askari because he was living in an army camp in this army camp Imam was not allowed to communicate with his followers with the Shia ulamas scholars other lovers of Ahlul Bayt they were not able to connect with Imam easily this condition in which Imam Hassan al Askari, peace and blessings be upon him, was living in was so depressing, was so suffering. Imam was suffering and distress from the condition, the bad condition which Abbasid kings were preparing for him. As I told you, they were not letting Imam to communicate with his followers. But there will be a question why these Abbasid kings were trying to do such a bad kind of behavior with Imams not only Imam Hassan al Askari even Imam Ali al Hadi and the other previous Imams they all were oppressed by those oppressors especially for the for Imam Hassan al Askari peace and blessings be upon him there may be three reasons, three main reasons why they were controlling and having eyes on Imam Hassan al Askari. Peace and blessings be upon him. So, if we notice the first important reason why Abbasid kings didn't let Imam to live a free life was because they were afraid of coming and burning Imam of our time, Imam Mahdi. The Abbasids feared the awaited Imam about whom the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, was told us, told us good news. They were afraid of Imam, the awaited Imam, 
who Holy Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings be upon him had told us about in some good news and he said that one of my grandsons will come and vanish all the tyrant and oppressing kingdoms and spread justice all around the world but Abbasid kings they didn't want this they wanted to stay until the end and they didn't want to lose their kingdom but they they didn't want to they didn't want Imam Hassan al-Askari to have a child because they knew that the awaited Imam is going to be <coughs> uh, born and his father will be Imam Hassan al-Askari the Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings be upon him had said that the awaited Imam would spread political social justice all over the world that he would do away with all kinds of justice and oppression and defeat all tyrants and oppressive powers in the world he would do away with polytheism and atheism and raise the banner of faith and truth he would revive the annual laws of Allah therefore the Abbasids tried to kill Imam Hassan al-Askari to be sure he would not live of spring Imam Hassan al-Askari said about that they claimed that they wanted to kill me in order to cut off my offspring but Allah the Almighty falsified their saying and praise be to Allah as we know Imam Mahdi was born and when he was five years old Imam Hassan al-Askari was murdered Imam Sahib al-Zaman the may Almighty God hasten his reappearance was only five years old when his father was murdered the second if we can say the second reason why Abbasid kingdoms Abbasid kings couldn't stand and bear Imam Hassan al-Askari it was because they felt a kind of envy towards him the Abbasids bore envy towards Imam Hassan al-Askari for his popularity and the great respect that all classes of society showed him whereas the authority was in the hand of the Abbasids who received nothing of respect or honoring from people therefore they plotted day and night to do away with him they had no respect no one was respecting Abbasid kings because of their tyrant rule because of because they were oppressing people but in the other hand people all loved Ahlul Bayt they all loved Imam Hassan al-Askari peace and blessings upon him and that's why Abbasid kings they couldn't stand they couldn't bear such a thing so they were planning how can they kill Imam Hassan al-Askari so maybe they changed the attention of people towards themselves but they were wrong of course the third reason why they were trying to keep their eyes on Imam Hassan al-Askari and not to let him to live freely among the other Shia people it was the it was because the Alawites rose in many revolts against the Abbasid rule since its beginning um, um, aiming at the achieving the political justice of Islam and applying its economical and social program in life those Alawis they were rising they were rising different times of revolts 
they were trying to change the rule because they were saying that Abbasid kings are not able to rule over people in a just way. So by in such a position, in such a situation, Abbasid kings tried to have the most force, the most control over Alawites because they didn't want them to win against them. Abbasid kings, they didn't want Alawites to win against them. So they tried to kill them, tried to put them in prisons. And the one who was more under control was Imam Hassan al-Askari, peace and blessings be upon him. So for these three reasons, we see that Imam Hassan al-Askari, unfortunately, was kept into such a prison. His house was just like a prison because it was inside an army camp. Days go and go and go until the age 260 of Hijrah, where Imam Hassan al-Askari predicts his murderdom and he, to he tells to his mother that one day I will be sick and I will die for this sickness. And of course, Imam Hassan al-Askari was meaning that Abbasid kings are going to poisoning me. His mother gets so, uh, you know, starts to cry for hearing this. But Imam Hassan al Askari tells her to be calm. And things happen. And Imam Hassan al Askari is poisoned by the Abbasid king. Imam Hassan al-Askari perceived from behind the unseen that he would leave this life and go near his Lord. So Al-Mu'tamid, the Abbasid tyrant, he couldn't bear Imam Hassan al-Askari's life anymore for he saw he for he saw and heard people everywhere full of prize for the Imam and preferring him to all the Alevites and the Abbasids. Finally, he made his mind and do what he was thinking for. He poisoned Imam Hassan al-Askari and because of that fatal poison, Imam Hassan al-Askari was murdered. My dear brothers and sisters, here in Samarra, I would like to pray for all of you, for all the lovers of Ahlul Bayt, peace and blessings be upon them. And inshallah, I wish if you all can be able to come to Samarra and visit this holy land and this holy shrine. And inshallah, one time we all witness the reappearance of Imam of our time. May Almighty God hasten his reappearance. Thank you for being with us. Have a great time and goodbye.